What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer, and I am your coach for the St. John Sharpedos, and welcome to UPBA Season 1, Week 5. Okay. This week's battle, I wasn't looking forward to. Um, because if you... <laughs> If you remember what if you remember watching me play this guy in the UPL, I got swept 6-0. And um I fought <laughs> I fought ours <laughs> of the Columbus Crocodiles. Just for the um, for those of you who have who did not watch the U, uh, the UPL battle or any of the UPL battles for that matter. This guy is an absolute fantastic battler to the point that he won the UPL season one. Um, so needless to say, I was not looking forward to fighting him. Um, fantastic guy, don't get me wrong, but he's such a good battler. <laughs> I was so nervous to fight him. It wasn't funny. Um, so the set I ran, for, the set I ran for him. We're just gonna get right into it. Lando Calrissian, our Landorus, holding Life Orb with Sand Force as its ability, with Stealth Rock, Earth Power, Hit HP, Ice, and Rock Slide. Basically, a similar kind of set as last week. Um, except instead of, what was it, Earthquake? I, I swapped out for, um, Stealth Rock. With max EVs in Special Attack and Speed, and the rest in Attack. So, isn't, there isn't really much to say with this, with this one. Hit hard, hit hard and hit fast. Um... Next up is Orochi, our, the, the Hydreigon, with Choice Scarf and Levitate, with Flamethrower, Draco Meteor, U-Turn, and Dark Pulse, with Max in uh, with Max EVs in Special Attack and Speed, and the rest in Special Defense. Um, ba again, it was hit hard, hit fa especially fast with Choice Scarf. <laughs> so, basically a lot. A lot of mods in, in the set that I, a lot of the mods that I used against uh, against him were hit hard and hit fast, basically. Um, next is the meta, the Metagross, with Choice Band as its ability, with Clear Body as its ability, with Meteor Mash, Bullet Punch, Hammer Arm, and Earthquake, uh, with Max EVs and HP and Attack, uh, with the rest in Special Defense. Um, Meteor Mash because strong stab move, Bullet Punch for priority, uh, Hammer Arm because just in case there's anything that that threatens Metagross in any way, but can still take, but can sort of still take a hit. Um, that's why I got Hammer Arm there. And Earthquake because, again, like I say in every video, because Earthquake. <laughs> um, next up is Spartacus, our Mega Gallade with uh, Steadfast's ability with... Now remember I said two weeks ago that I made the mistake of giving him uh, Swords Dance instead of Protect? That's, a, that's, a, that's what I did here. I actually gave him Protect first. With Protect, Knock Off, Ice Punch, and Drain Punch. <laughs> I was smart this time, but... Yeah. <laughs> with Max and HP and Attack and the rest in Special Defense. <laughs> Um, protect so that he basically protects so that he keep um, that he starts his mega turn uh, with full HP and not dead or close to dead. Um, knock off because knock. <laughs> it seems like earthquake and knock off seems to be the two that I'm just like they are what they are. <laughs> um, ice punch because I think he had a few ice weaknesses as well. And I figured Ice Punch probably would have would have uh, done a, a nice number to him, and Drain Punch to basically keep his longevity up. Uh, next is Crow Batman or Crowbat with the Lumberry with Enter Focus as, uh, with its ability, 
with Brave Bird, U-Turn, Roost, and Defog. His EV spread I have for this one is way whack. 184 in HP, 164 in attack, and 156 in speed. 156 speed on Crobat. Um, basically, I mean, he's still fast. Crobat is... Like, legendaries aside... Crobat is like, I believe Crobat is the fastest Pokemon outside of Legendaries. Um, so I didn't, that's why I didn't want to put too much speed investment in there, and why I wanted to get the others fairly decent as well. Um, Brave Bird, because, because it's Brave Bird, it's the strongest, uh, the strongest bird type, uh, flying type move, bird type move, strongest flying type move at the cost, of course, of some. Uh, HP, of course, and recoil. Um, U turn in case he needs to get out of there. Roost to keep him alive, and defog and defog to um, uh, to get rid of the entry any entry hazards that he puts in. And next, and last, and not least, Mr. Grabs our Cofagragus. He finally makes his uh, UPBA debut with leftovers uh, holding life. Leftover, jeez, I can't talk today. Holding life, what? <laughs> Holding leftovers. With mummy as its ability, with toxic spikes, pain split, hex, and will o' wisp. Cofagrigus, I built as a wall. Uh, especially since I gave him max EVs in HP, special defense, and the rest in defense. I built I built Cofagrigus as a wall. Toxic spikes so that when he switches out, they get poisoned, of course. Pain split to keep him alive. Hex for when they come out and they're already poisoned. Hex does double damage whenever they're status. And Will O Wisp, basically for Pokemon that um, on the turn that I use Toxic Spikes and they don't switch, I can use Will O Wisp so that then they drop their attack. And I can also use Hex at that point as well. Basically, Basically, a physical wall that, <laughs> that can do a he hefty bit of damage. I'm getting low on water. No, I have none. So, that was a set I ran for, um, Arzit. Of <laughs> it's so weird saying that. I'm so used to just saying Arzit. <laughs> of, the, of the Columbus Croconauts. So, that was the set I ran. Um, I'm gonna show you the replay there now so if you guys enjoy the video be sure to click that thumbs up button like you never clicked it before and subscribe to the channel for more videos uh, and be sure to also check out the Pokemon Snakewood uh, let's play uh, that's that's also running in concurrently with the UPBA I've been Chris the Chaos Gamer and I will see you in the next video Thank you.